Today we're opening Brothers of Legend. Hi guys, so today before we get into the Brothers of Legend box, we've actually got a few packs, I believe, yeah, three boosters of Battle of Legend Armageddon, um, which is part of the same series that they release periodically, but this is the set that has 10,000 Dragon, which was the only card ever in Yu-Gi-Oh to get his own rarity, which was 10,000 rare, basically. Um, the print for 10,000 rare, I'm pretty sure, is the same as the Starlight rare print. So let's crack them open first, see what we've got, and then we'll get into the booster box with Brothers of Legend. So not sure what else is of value in this set, but it's the same format where it's four ultras and one secret, so it's five cards per pack. So we have, let's have a look. Necros of Gun Gear. Salaman Great Gazelle, Assault Blackwing, number four, Numeron Gate, and Glacial Beast Polar Penguin. I think 10,000 Dragon is one per case, so it would be absolutely insane if we pulled it from uh, from free booster packs. So, Elemental Hero Chaos Neos, Steam Synchron, Appliancer Laundry Dragon, Appliancer Reuse, and... Fossil Warrior Skull King. All right, that's cool. That's very, very cool. And then last pack of these extra little boosters, and then we'll crack on with the box. Flower Cardian Cherry Blossom. Calentosa. Appliance a Kappa Scale. Appliance a Socket Roll. And Specimen Inspection. Okay, not one, not one I'm familiar with, I'll be honest, but... Pretty cool nonetheless. So, so now, now that that's out of the way, we'll crack on with this. So, Brothers of, well, Battle Legend series, or in this particular case, Brothers of Legend, are all foil sets. Um, so you get five cards per pack, 24 packs in a box, um, and you get one secret um, per pack on top of the, the four ultras that you get as well. In this particular set, the, the magic is... Uh, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Um, this was the first print, I believe, of Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Maybe second, because the only other print up until the tins came out recently um, was this Starlight and a ultra rare version of him in the Tin of Lost Memories from 2020. Um, other cards to note in this particular set, I believe Nibiru's in this set. Forbidden Droplet, uh, some cool Karibo cards. Well, a lot of Karibo cards, but a couple of decent secret Karibo cards. Um, and I want to say Magician Souls, I think, comes in secret rare in this one as well. So, yeah, uh, aside from Dragoon, obviously with the chances are very low with that, but there are some other cards in here which are, would be good to pull. So let's get into it. All right, we're going to start with the right side. So, Zexal Catapult, the Icebound God. Shooting Star Dragon, Astraltopia, and Speedroid Scratch is our first secret. Okay, not not a great one, but as I said, secrets are in, in every pack in this particular one where it's an all foil set. So let's see what else we can get. Uh, outside of um, outside of Dragoon, I think Forbidden Drop looks probably one of the more valuable ones because of how playable it is. Although that might have dropped slightly um, recently because of the new tin. Um, but I think the other one I would want for my collection would be the Magician Souls because I've got a Dark Magician page in my binder as well that I'd very much like to add that to. So, Ouroboros Sage, the Deal of Destiny, Detonate, and Evil Hero Adjusted Gold. Okay, I've not seen that one before. I have opened a, a kind of few packs of this, never a booster, but yeah, I've not, not seen that secret before, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so we have Void Feast, Noble Knight's Spearholder. Fossil Dig, White Mirror, and number 89, Diablosis the Mind Hacker. Again, a cool card. Um, I think I've seen this one before um, from a couple of the packs I've opened. Not particularly valuable, but the arts, obviously, as you can see, pretty cool. And the secret rare print looked pretty good on, on most cards, to be perfectly honest. So, Okay, so Dollhouse, Horse of the Floral Knights, Dr. D, Fort Ruler Archfiend, and... Grandpa Dometto, all right? Um, yeah, Grandpa Dometto. <laughs> so this set, in terms of value, because of because of the Starlight Dragoon in it, um, the value of this set is kind of around sixty-five to seventy-five pound at the moment. So it's not it's not crazy in comparison with like a brand new booster box. But I think obviously the less there's going to be, naturally the the higher the price is going to go. So it might be worth getting one now if you can. Shooting Star Dragon. Starlight Road and Piri Rees map. Okay. 
On to the next. F A I Ting Spirit. <laughs> so I had a my brain stopped for a minute there. Kaiju Captain Mission. Void Feast. Slipid Wing and Nibiru. Okay, so as I said, this is one of the ones that I did really want. Um, because it's always great to pull Nibiru, especially in a secret rare as well, because he's worth a little bit of money. Um again, he was in the new tin, so he might have dropped slightly, but as I said, always brilliant to get Nibiru, and it looks really, really cool in the secret print as well. As always, if there are sets that you guys do want me to open, um, then just let me know in the comments, and I will do my best to get hold of them. Okay, Idos the Underworld Squire, Ice Mirror, Infernoid Decatron, and number four Stealth Kragan. Not one I've seen before, actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, not one I've seen before, so pretty cool. Don't know what the um, kind of pull rate is of certain secrets. I assume stuff like Forbidden Droplet is probably a lower, maybe like a short print, for example. But I do not know for, for certain. Zexal Catapult and Yowie. Another one I've not seen. Um, as I said, I've kind of sparingly bought these booster packs, so maybe like three or four at a time. Um, so opening a booster box, I probably am going to see a lot of secrets that I've never seen before. And that's, that's weird. So we have Dollhouse. Okay, skipped a little bit there. Wind, wind up Arsenal, blah, blah. Deal of Destiny. White Mirror. And Ultimate Leo Utopia Ray. Cool, cool. God, really want, really want that Magician's Souls. I've got Nibiru, which is great, but we're going to need more secrets to make this box worth it, I think. So let's see what we can get. Fossil Dig. F.A. Iting Spirit. Allure of Darkness. Always a really cool card, that one with the hollow. I think they've done a really good job of the art. Uroboros Sage. And Infernoid Tierra. As, as I said, I, uh, the, the count will be on the screen so you guys can see whether this box is worth it. Um, and I'll just guess. So we're not there yet in terms of making the money back. Definitely not. So Dr. D. Gadala. Red Eyes Fusion. Red Eyes Fusion. AR Show, and Centaur Mina. I'll be honest, I saw the purple there, and I thought Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, but then I also saw that it wasn't sparkly enough, so it couldn't possibly have been the Starlight, so hopes dashed immediately. All right, last pack of the right-hand side. Let's see if we can get another one of the, the mid-value ones, maybe a maybe another Nibiru, or an Astral Karibo, uh, or a Magician Souls, that'd be brilliant. So, Summon Storm. Astral Topia, Hyper Rank Up Magic Utopia Force. <laughs> Number 39 Utopia in the alternate art there. So that's just, that's a cool card regardless if you guys recognize Utopia. Magician Souls, perfect. As I said, this set, th this particular card, I've really wanted for my collection. So I'm very, very happy with that. Brilliant, I'm glad I pulled that. And as you can see with the secret, it looks brilliant as well. Like, I cannot... Obviously on camera it probably shows a little bit, but I cannot emphasise how cool this looks. So the right hand side has, has done well, I'll be honest. So left hand side has got some competition. If it gets a forbidden droplet, I think it wins. But yeah, we've got Nibiru and Magician Souls to beat yet. So not a bad start, not a bad start at all. Kariborn, Kaiju Capture Mission, AI Showed, and Altergeist Feeder Alert. I forgot that there was Altergeist support in this set actually, so... Okay, we have Resurgum XYZ, Alternate Art Utopia again, Summon Storm, Right Hand Shark, and Number Four Stealth Kraken. Okay, so we've had that secret already, so all right. Next up, Fossil Dig, Ice Mirror, Rank Up Magic Argent Chaos Force, Left Hand Shark to go with the right hands, <laughs> that's good, and D force. Right side's still winning at the moment. But all it takes is one card. So Icebound God. Zexal Field. Soul Binding Gate. Kariba. And Toy Parade. I don't know if you can see, but I think when these sets get kind of a little bit older, they start to bend ever so slightly. 
but yeah, there's a slight slight bend in the in the actual cards there. So, Karibo, appliance of conversion, detonate, five star twilight, and ultimately a utopia racer. Yep, again, that's another secret we've already had. So, so noble knight's spear holder, allure of darkness again, hyper rank up magic utopia force, Karibé. <laughs> And Echo de Zone. All right. I think Evil Hero Malicious Bane is in this set as well, actually. Um, I don't think he's worth as much anymore because he's been pre uh, printed in more recent sets, but he's still a pretty cool card. So, Appliancer uh, Propellion. Ardos the Underworld Squire. Fort Ruler Archfiend. And lyrilisk bird strike okay so yeah some lyrilisk support in there as well left side's only got four more packs well three more after this one to, to you know fight back so i have to see karibo appliance conversion ice barrier beatrice lady of the eternal and piri reads map again all right so another duplicate on the uh, secret there Okay, so Red Eyes Fusion, Rank Up Magic, Ice Knight, Karibu, and Forbidden Droplet. Okay, left side has redeemed itself. Forbidden Droplet, as I said, one of the best cards in this set outside of the Starlight Dragoon. So that's, yeah, that's phenomenal. Really, really happy with that one. So, yeah, left side, I'd say it's about even at the moment. If it gets another decent kind of secret in the last couple of packs, then it's one. But I'd say they're, they're both pretty even at the moment. So, fantastic. That is the first Forbidden Drop that I've actually pulled from uh, from the set. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with that one. Okay, we have Cypher Interference, Insector Exa Beetle, Resurgent XYZ, Edia the Heavenly Squire, or Edia, whatever you want to say, and Starving Venomy Dragon. I can never get behind Pendulum cards. I just don't think the art looks as cool. Like with XY, like, well, obviously not the actual... The actual character art, but all of this below. I think XYZ did it a lot better um, in kind of the way that it looks. So, all right. My apologies. There were two more packs stuck together. Is that a sign? Unlikely. But <laughs> let's get through them anyway and see what we've got. As I said, one more decent secret on the left hand side, and that's definitely the winner for today, but we'll have to wait and see. Penguin Sword. Right Hand Shark. Number 39 Utopia Alternate Art again. Ice Knight and Altergeist Pookery. Not seen that one before. So, all right. Last pack. Let's see if we can finish on a on a high. So we have Karibi. No, yeah, Karibi. Karibi. Sounds weird not saying Karibo. Numbers Protection. Kuriborn. Phantom Knights of the Ragged Gloves. And... Relinquished Anima. Okay, I mean, it's not a great secret, but I think, I mean, fans of the, the series, it's always great to see Relinquished. Um, yeah, as always, thank you ever so much for watching. Please like and subscribe because it does help me out. And if you've got any suggestions about what sets you want to see, drop them in the comments and I will do my best to get a hold of them. But yeah, until next time.